Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the June Summer Lovin' 2019 reading. For those whom by which have Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, or in their chart in general, male or female. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to those of you whom have been with me from the beginning. To those of you whom have come to me from month to month readings and especially to those of you whom have donated. Thank you so very much. Now I'm going to be starting out with the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue and I'm going to be doing a circle spread. Dear Lord Spirit Guides and Angels. Okay, right off the bat, we have a Gemini that has not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the situation going. Therefore, this Gemini is thinking about separating, uh, having or taking some time apart from another. In the relationship sector of the circle spread, representing the second week, maybe two, two and a half weeks into June 2019 for this Gemini. Someone here is wearing a false mask. Someone here uh, is carrying the energies of deception, or it could be the combination of a situation that has the energies of deception. Okay, so somebody's thinking about uh, wearing a false mask. Somebody's feeling about uh, thinking about unrequited love and separation. Okay, we have in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, we've got children here. Okay, so this is about a situation whereby the love arena is being affected by children. And creatively, spirit is telling this particular Gemini to really open your heart to children, to family, to those whom by which you've been blessed with to have in your life during the month, especially the first three weeks of June 2019. Happy birthday to whomever's birthdays it may be. Um, in the actions position, we have retreat. It's time to kind of take action, to retreat, kick back, disconnect from the world. Some Geminis may be thinking about their children and or their childhood. Now, Emotionally, by the end of June 2019, uh, Spirit is really trying to get this Gemini to start to feel more positive and optimistic about life in general. Yes, there may have been unrequited love and separation from a person at one point in time. There may feel like someone is wearing a false mask and it's making you kind of uh, need to take some time to think things through. The perception here needs to be changed, okay? There needs to be a shift in someone's paradigm from negativity to positivity because negativity will, of course, push other people away. Positively will draw them nearer to you. All right, so in your subconscious position, Gemini, for which Gemini I'm reading for during this general reading, and thank you to those of you who have let me know that those were indeed your energies and or your uh, readings that helps me a lot okay uh, subconsciously we've got a Gemini who's really thinking about finances and career again spirit saying remain optimistic and positive so that not only romance can come into your life but so that there can be positive financial uh, changes in your life as well during the month of June 2019 now day to day we have a Gemini that is trying to control this financial situation, trying to uh, figure out uh, why there's been separation and uh, negativity. And Spirit, I feel, is saying like somebody is not being themselves. It's like they've been protecting themselves behind some form of mask. And it's actually pushing people away. So this Gemini is being guided to just let life unfold and be and remain optimistic. If, if, your whole life was between two choices. Are you going to choose negative or positive? Because what comes from those energies are exactly that. So in this Gemini's uh, inner strengths position, uh, Spirit is giving this Gemini the strength to honestly speak your truth with another so that you can recognize and get to the reality that there's just not enough chemistry and attraction to bring something back together. But that's okay. People come together to teach us more about ourselves so that we can climb a higher spiritual level so that through each experience and connection we can finally get to that point of peace joy happiness contentment fulfillment love and self-worth and 
financial stability, good health, all those wonderful things. But it does come down to your perspective is what Spirit's saying. So in a three card summary to my right, using the same Romance Angel deck, we've got the first week, week and a half of June 2019 being represented by Healing Family Issues Energy. So now's the time to forgive whoever you haven't forgiven, okay? Because that is what's making you feel weighed down and negative. Free yourself. Take back control of your life. And, and to recapture romance and happiness and joy and positivity, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Remember who that child was back when you had those fun-loving childhood memories. Um, <clears throat> because if you guys shift your perspective and start to share who you truly are deep within, that kindness, that softness with others, you will definitely attract a new love into your life that could turn into a long-term commitment or partnership now by the second or third week of june 2019 we have a romance of a lifetime cupid's arrow pointing right at that telling you that you deserve love you are lovable and so we do have someone who's a gemini coming together and feeling a very strong magnetic atta attraction to another and thinking about raising a commitment to a higher level look at couples 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 okay <clears throat> Now, we do have pay attention to the red flags if uh, there is some form of reconciliation, a desire to re reconcile or someone coming back to you. Because Spirit's saying, again, this is time to let go of that past life connection, uh, that situation by which you became codependent on or addicted to thinking about all the time. Now, by the end of June 2019, Spirit's saying, keep an open mind. You may meet someone that's different, and that different person may very well be a really good soulmate connection. So Spirit's giving you the strength now. When you meet someone who I feel is new for this Gemini, whoever's gen uh, energies these are during this general reading, allow yourself to feel romantic uh, feelings. Allow yourself to... Um, <clears throat> Take the steps you're guided to take as you, look at that. They're saying as you release your ex very soon, you will clearly decide it's safe for you to open your heart and to move forward positively, optimistically towards someone new or something new that makes you happy and positive day to day. Endings happen for a reason. They come, people, we come together with people for just a moment in time, and we need to give thanks for that and move on. So we have unrequited love maybe involving a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or we have unrequited love and worries regarding finances in uh, the first week of June 2019. Hopefully you guys will get some birthday money. Uh, we have separation in your thoughts, wanting to go towards another and to talk about some distance between maybe there's been time apart is what I'm feeling in the relationship sector we have someone wearing a false mask and that's what the obstacles are is that this Gemini or the person Gemini is feeling or connecting with is wearing a false mask they can't for some reason get beyond that mask and share who they truly are your obstacles are is you need to open up your heart if you're thinking about someone who's wearing a false mask and you know that they they or the situation involves deceptive energies, then go beyond the obstacles and get to a blessing in your life is what they're saying. Okay, so in the creative aspects position we have, you have the key to success to create children, to come into a situation um, whereby children may be involved during June, maybe by the third week of June 2019 really thinking about children wanting children <clears throat> either way taking some action to retreat and think about the blessings in your life the people who you have been blessed to have in your life the wonderful blessings that have taken place in your life maybe regarding finances birthday cards emotionally this gemini is nervous about opening up and remaining and being optimistic Worried about energies of deception in the relationship sector. 
but don't let what happened in the past hold you back from meeting someone completely new. Right now they're saying subconsciously, you know you are needing to devote yourself to career and finances. And yes, okay, day to day, let go of control. Don't try to fight the situation. Allow yourself to open up to a different paradigm, a shift in perspective. Okay, allow things to unfold as they will, especially when you focus on finances. Do what needs to be done. You've got the key to success when it comes to money. For some. Okay, in your inner strengths position, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Spirit's giving you the strength to talk to someone from your heart, to open your heart. To talk to someone who's in a leadership position, manager, business owner, etc. So that you can get beyond a situation that involved unrequited love and focus on finances. Retreating and waiting as you receive kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, invitations, and or a reason to celebrate. Don't let anxiety and old circumstances affect your future. Okay, I'm going to bring in the Gypsy Oracle deck for clarification once again. Because I like to clarify, clarify, clarify. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. Gemini, June, Summer 11, 2019. Okay, so yeah. Spirit saying, let go of unrequited love. Focus on your finances and uh, get together and enjoy jo joyfulness with others. Open your heart to those whom by which you've been blessed to have in your life. In your thoughts, this particular Gemini is thinking about separation, distance, wanting to go towards another because someone has stolen their peace of mind. But there is separation for a reason. So hold back for a minute. Now, someone may come towards you as you're thinking about a separation, Gemini, and they're coming towards you with ulterior motives. Or maybe you're wanting to uh, get beyond obstacles and deal with the situation whereby you've been wearing a mask, whereby you've been sitting in this prison energies in the relationship sector. That mask is your obstacle, and it's keeping you stuck in a prison. And that's going to make sense to whichever Gemini these energies are for. So in your creative aspects position, you have the key to success to get beyond maybe childhood memories, uh, situations that happened. Uh, maybe you have the key to success when it comes to discussing children. So there is a conversation here that's being that's in the creative aspects position so that you can come to uh, an agreement of sorts. Celebrate. With family and friends. So they want you to create happiness and joy with those whom by which you already have in your life and give thanks to these people. In your actions position, it's time to retreat as you journey into new connections, new offers, new opportunities that you may be celebrating by the end of June 2019. For some, you may be celebrating that right in the beginning. Then there's kind of a pause in the second week. forward movement by the end of June. I feel like that's in career and finances. Now, emotionally, we've got anxiety regarding optimism. But sitting here waiting with the malady energies, I'm going to just wait, enjoy my friends, journey towards what I got to get done, finances and career, hoping that eventually someone will Agree to this devoted connection when it comes to love. Cupid. Let Cupid come to you as you think more positively, as you have fun with your family and friends during the month of June 2019, Gemini. Day to day, let go of trying to control how things are going to work, what's going to fall apart, and just recognize that sly and cunning behavior, trying to control things, wearing a mask, will only bring energies of misfortune. So shift your perspective to positivity, joy, and happiness in the month of June 2019. What have you got to lose, right? 
The Spirit's giving you the strength and the inner strength position of the circle spread to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone who's in a leadership position and you receiving some form of information that will help for you to consider the celebration of a new journey in your life. <clears throat> Beautiful. Yep, someone brought something upon themselves, but now... It's like they're hoping to come into someone, a connection to the past and become wife, have a wife, be a wife. But there's this love them and leave them hardcore energy that this Gemini is being guided to heal from. So that you can eventually <clears throat> come together with someone who is right for you. Some haven't met this person yet and won't until... Maybe the second half of June 2019, if not even the last week. And it has to do with stepping in a new direction. So that's why they're saying focus on your finances. That's going to lead you into a direction of positivity, which is going to lead you into the direction of another person, which is going to lead you to be able to open your heart if you so choose. So to close this reading, I'm pulling one card from the Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild. Closing message, please, for this Gemini reading during this general reading. Dear Lord Spirit, guides and angels for the month of June, summer, 11, 2019. I could have sworn, I could have guessed this card was going to come up. Receiving. That's about giving and receiving. Helping others. And allowing others to come in and help give love and peace and joy and contentment and hugs and kisses to you. There has been a very spiritual transformation or there will be one available for this particular Gemini to go in, go within and recognize the unhealthy from the healthy and choose positivity <clears throat> to receive the blessings. So this card means receive and be received. Forget your worries. Rest. Let go and let life flow. When you delight in what you receive, when you openly embrace a gift and are so happy with it, the universe is fully received by and through you. They like to receive and feel your joy. So forget your worries for just a while and enjoy happiness and contentment again with those whom by which you've been blessed to have in your life with you. If these messages resonate and you'd like more information, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list will be in the box below, and I am still offering the Spring Summer Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and or subscribe. Thank you to those of you whom come, who have come to me for month-to-month -month readings. Thank you as well to those of you whom have donated in order to keep my channel running. Take care and God bless.